What's up guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio and today I'm going to show you five super easy lighting effects that you can use right now in OpenTunes. So I know a lot of you guys can see OpenTunes as a really complicated software and to be fair it is. But in this tutorial I'm going to show you five super easy effects that you can basically drag and drop into any animation. If that sounds good to you, leave me a like and let's get started. Okay, so let me go over my layers really, really quick to just to just to show you guys what I have. So I have my lines right here, which is my lines and my color. Well, that looks kind of creepy when you take that away. Then I have my shadows, which are very slight, not very strong. And then we have column seven is where my highlights are. And finally, I have the glasses reflection. When I render this, looks like this and you see a little backlight. That's one of the that's one of the effects, sorry, spoiler. I'm going to get rid of all of the effects I have right now to show you how I did it from the ground up. All right, so now this is what it looks like with no effects. This is just a default image. Okay, so the first effect is going to help us tidy up these shadows that are outside of our drawing area. And that effect is called the matte in effect. So what we have to do is basically tell the shadows, since they're on another layer already, to only render inside of this drawing, inside the lines layer. So what we have to do is go over to our effect schematic. And yes, I know my layout looks different. So for this part, I'm, gonna actually, I'm actually gonna go to the animation tab since most of you already have this. So right now we're in the effect schematic. And if you see this view where you see the table and, and camera one, click this icon in the bottom right to switch to the effect schematic. So we're going to be dealing with the shadow layer and the lines layer. We're going to right click on shadows, insert effects, matte, matte in. We want to make sure that the shadows are set to the source and then we put our lines in the matte. Also make sure that the lines are also going to the X sheet. That's very important. But the shadows are not supposed to be also be going to the X sheet. You want to make sure that the lines are going into the matte and also to the X sheet, but the shadows are just going into the matte. Now when we hit render, all the shading will appear inside the drawing and it's all cleaned up. I know this is technically a shading effect, but lighting and shading are like two sides of the same thing. So, you know, sorry. All right, now that our shading looks good, our next effect is called the glow effect. And we're gonna use it to make our highlight layer, which is column, is column six or seven? Column six. We're gonna use the glow effect to make our highlights pop. So we're gonna go over to column six in our effect schematic. This is why you should always name, name your columns. Highlights. There we go, just make it easier for when we're doing effects. Right click, insert effects, light, and hit glow. Whoa, right? So if we double click on the glow, we can edit some, some of the parameters. So glow has two main parameters. We have the brightness, which if we turn it up, it's really bright. If we turn it down, it relaxes a little bit. I'm kind of digging the 70 range for this drawing and I'm gonna cut the blur. There we go, maybe just a little bit. All right, that looks good. You can also fade the glow effect by selecting like a color like maybe blue and then turning up the fade and that'll sort of change the effect. Change the light to look more blue. That's pretty cool if that's what you're going for. Um, I'm sure it can help in some situation that I'm not presenting right now. You know, I also can add a glow effect on the reflection here on the glasses. Let's see what that'll look like. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I don't like the blur on this though at all. Maybe just like maybe five. All right, that looks cool. Not really what I'm going for, but definitely awesome to try. Okay, the third lighting effect is the lighting effect, which is none other than the light spot. This is probably one of the most powerful effects in OpenTunes period. So one of my favorites, I use it all the time. I use it professionally, I use it casually. My favorite effect, I'm always pulling it out. All we gotta do is go to the effects schematic, add effects, light, light spot. And then you get this super hideous light spot just appears on your screen. No softness, just a sharp, hard magenta edge. And it looks terrible, right? I'm actually gonna make this over, go over all of our layers just like that, drag it up. So it is its own layer. So it's kind of its own effect. It doesn't go onto a layer, it's its own layer. So just remember that when you're, when you're timing your animation, make sure that it has the correct exposure. Okay, so this light spot looks terrible. How do we make it look better? Well, we gotta add our old friend, the glow effect. All right, that looks, that, that's starting to look a little better. Let me make this light just come down in size right here. Like that. Also, if you hit this button right here, you can reorder, you can reorder all of your nodes. 
So in case you know you got this huge mess going everywhere, you can just click that and everything's fixed. So you can click on the light spot and edit the color. Maybe I'll make this like a purplish. Yeah, that looks really good. And then you can also edit the softness. Turning it up will make the light shine in less area. It'll sort of condense it and make the transition more smooth. And turning it down like this will make it cover a lot more area. So the next effect that we have is used a lot in anime. So a lot of you guys who watch anime, like anime, are going to recognize this one. And that effect is the backlit effect. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go to our effects schematic, right click, add effects, background, and do color card. So we're gonna set this color card to white. And so the reason that the background was black when we had the light spot is because we didn't have an actual background. By default, the background in open tunes was transparent. So I just realized that's why the background just turned black when we had that light effect on. Okay, next we wanna take the color card effect, hit insert effects, go to light, and then backlit. So we wanna make sure that the color card is on the light and that the layer with our lines and colors go into the source. So nothing happened right now. And the reason is because we don't want the layer with our lines and colors to go independently into the X sheet without running through this effect first. So let's delete this string right here. And there you go. So now we're gonna double click on the backlit effect and mess with the intensity. We'll put it up to 20. And we're already starting to get that anime look. So maybe 25 will work. And if you're wondering why it looks kind of gray, I think it's the light spot. Yeah, if you turn off the light spot, you won't get that gray looking effect anymore. But anyhow, I think this effect looks really, really good, especially for this, for this drawing right here. Okay, the last lighting effect is not just one effect. A lot of people don't know how to use layer blending in open tunes to bring their animations and their artwork to the next level. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do it and it's via the effect schematic. So in the case of our shadows, maybe we wanted a multiply layer on the shadows like you usually do when you're painting digitally. So the shadows is in the source of this matte in effect, meaning anything we put after this is only going to affect the shadows. Let's right click this, insert effects. We're gonna to go to layer blending and hit multiply. Now, as you can see, we got the multiplication going. That looks pretty good. What if we wanted to add a color dodge to our highlight layer? We can do that too. Go to the highlights, right click the glow, insert effects, layer blending and hit color dodge. Nice. Let me see, maybe for the glasses reflection, we can add a screen, maybe a lighten. Doesn't really change much. Let's just color dodge everything. Oh wow, that actually looks really cool. So what color dodge does is it preserves the dark lines in your drawing. So it, this actually makes it look pretty cool, but I don't think I'm gonna keep that effect. You can also add layer blending effects on the light layer. So say we made this light a little bigger. There we go, so we're gonna shine a little more. And then after the glow, we insert effect and let's insert a color dodge. That looks pretty dope. All right guys, so those are my five easy effects that you can use right now in open tunes. You can use the matte in, the glow, the light spot, backlit effect, and layer blending modes, all just using the effect schematic. Okay guys, before I go, I wanna announce the winners of the head turn animation challenge on my Discord channel. I do apologize that it took so long. Um, right after I announced the challenge, I went on break, but I've been doing a lot of thinking and I have to announce that I have two winners for this challenge. The first winner is Nexi Laza. They clearly went over the top by making the background really, really beautiful. And the animation itself is really good as well. And of course, the noble plug in the bottom left corner. I saw that. Your work was really awesome. Keep it up, keep doing these challenges, and I guarantee you, you will become a better animator. And the second winner for the challenge is Cat with an exclamation mark. I just love the personality of this animation. I really like the character design. Um, you animated the hair really well. You know, that's kind of complicated when it comes to animation. Good job. Keep it up, guys, and thank you for participating. If you want to support the channel and get cool rewards like this wallpaper of Pi playing video games in 4K, 1080p, head over to my Patreon page. If you don't have the cash but you still want to support the channel, follow the link in the description below and sign up for a free trial of Amazon Music Unlimited. Each sign up earns a commission for the channel. Thank you in advance. With all that said, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.